In this example, we have the function given as a graph. And um, we're just trying to find the value of, value of the function at, at different points. So um, we're calling this function f, that's the name of the function, and the input to the function is 0, right? This is your input, right? Input values, so it's our x value. And um, so what we're going to do, we want to know what is the value of, value of the function when x is equal to 0. All right, so we're going to look along the, along the x-axis here and find 0, which is right here at the origin. And then we're going to go up to the point on the graph and find the y value. The y value, because y is equal to f of x, um, that is the value of the function. So it looks like the value of the function when x equals 0 is 2. All right, so same thing with this next one. We're going to look, look this is telling us the x value, right? And we want to know what's the value of the function when x is equal to 1. Just go look at the graph and find the point on the graph um, where x is equal to 1. All right. And the corresponding y value gives you the value of the function. All right. So here it's crossing, crossing the x-axis. Um, so that is the, um, the point. Uh, this is the point 1 comma 0. Right. So the y value is 0, which means the value of the function is 0. All right. Um, f of x is equal to 3 for what x value? All right, now we want to look at, we want to find um, the point on the graph where the uh, value of the function is 3. So 3 is up here. We're going to look at the y-axis and then find that corresponding point on the graph. Looks like there's only 1. And then we can kind of just go right straight down here to the x-axis. And it looks like we're going to have to estimate <laughs> because it's not on a on a intersection of grids, but it looks like it's about, I'm just going to estimate that as two and a half, close enough. All right, that's just an estimate. All right, so that's close enough. And part D, uh, now we want to know what is the x value when f of x is zero. All right, so we look along the y-axis, right, because the value of the function is zero. And we want to know what's the corresponding um, y value, the value of the function. And it looks like we have several points. We have a point here. We have negative 1 comma 0. So there y is 0, so the value of the function is 0. We have this other point here that we just found, 1 comma 0. And then we have another point over here, 2 comma 0. All of those points have a y value of 0, which means the function value is 0. f of x is equal to 0. All right, and so we've got more than one answer in this case. We've got negative 1, and we've got 1, and we've got 2. All of those x values give you a function value of 0. All right, I will see you in the next video for the next example.